everybody, this is Praxis. Today, I had to wear long sleeves. Uh, granted, I'm still wearing shorts, but it's, it's a cold morning. We're getting close to fall rolling in. It reminds me of the last time that I did uh, a homestead. We're only about 10 days shy of when I started carpentry on that one. Uh, but that house was smaller, uh, and you know it's pretty much on par with where we are now, because uh, when I started that one, we had one floor to build, and with this one, I already have one floor, but we're doing another floor on top of that. So it's really making me feel like I don't have a substantial head start over the last time that I did this. And I remember we just squeezed in before the snow, getting the roof on and everything. It, it's got me feeling a, a little bit overwhelmed this morning. Uh, I, I, I'm the kind of person that, like, I just kind of keep going and going, and, you know, I try to not you know, get held back by that kind of stuff. It doesn't mean that I don't feel it now and then. We've got a lot accomplished. I mean, we got the root cellar in. Look at all this fill. We've got walls that are made. There's actually mechanical equipment on site going, and we've done a lot of carpentry too, plus in addition, we have the foundation. If you remember, about 200 days ago, this was all just raw forest. So we've come a long way, but thinking about it this morning, there's just, there's just so much further to go. And, uh, yeah, this is this is a feeling that you know you feel when you are tackling a large project, and certainly if there was ever some kind of like an SHTF event, a total collapse event, I'm sure a lot of people would be feeling a feeling of you know being overwhelmed. Uh, it, you know, it's something that comes up all the time, and um, you know, as someone that's into preparedness, I'm not at all immune to that. It's uh, just preparedness is about trying to like get around that. Whenever I feel a feeling like that, I usually try to ask myself. Well, there's so much to do. There's so many, you know, options and things swirling around, but what's the most important thing? What's the most helpful thing that I could be doing right now to make things better, to get towards where I want to be? And for this morning, that's working on these two by sixes. Uh, there's all these slots every few feet down the center. Each one of those needs a, a two by six column. And I guess I'm, I'm gonna work on those this morning. Uh, each one of these things has to be cut in half and then that's gonna be you know, used to roughly assemble these and then we're gonna snap a line later and you know, get the exact heights of each one. But, uh, but yeah, I'm feeling overwhelmed this morning, but uh, I always come back to that. Whenever I have a huge project or I just kind of feel overwhelmed with something, I just ask myself that question. What's the most important thing that I could do right now? I mean, that's helpful, I think, whether you're in school and you're just overwhelmed with work, whether you're at work and you're overwhelmed with work, or if you're in an emergency situation and you're overwhelmed with just the enormity of everything, asking yourself, what's the most important thing? What's the most helpful thing could I do right now? It kind of takes a huge problem and it breaks it down into one step you can take. And I think even if there's a huge number of steps, even if there's a huge mountain to climb, it always starts with one step and you're not gonna get any closer to that top unless you take that first step and then the next one, then the next one. My first step is cutting all these two by sixes in half. That's it. Thanks for watching.